Many experts predict significant changes and challenges as the world approaches the turn of the century. From the impacts of climate change to technological advances and global power shifts, the world of 2100 is likely to look vastly different than it does today. Today, we'll explore potential technological developments that could shape the future, offering insights into what life in the year 2100 might look like. Remember to stick with us until the end, as the last one will really raise your eyebrows. Merging of humans and artificial intelligence. The possibilities are limitless with the latest developments in artificial intelligence and brain-computer interfaces. It's no longer just science fiction. We're living in a world where our brains can be connected with AI to create super-intelligent beings that can guide us through everyday life. With this technology, we can easily solve any problem that comes our way, predict the future, and achieve our life objectives with ease. Imagine seeing 50 steps ahead before taking any action, or multiplying our returns in stock and crypto markets by orders of magnitude. This is just the beginning of what's possible with AI and brain-computer interfaces. But the real game-changer is when synthetic brains become more common. Humans can operate millions of times faster and make a century of intellectual progress in just one hour. This technology will revolutionize how we live and work, and those who embrace it will have an edge in the world's ever-changing landscape. The only limitation is our biological brains, but once we overcome this bottleneck, there's no telling what we can achieve. The future is exciting, and it's happening now. The Hive Mind In the year 2100, a futuristic concept where humans can connect to a global network that allows them to access the thoughts of billions of people could emerge. This network is often referred to as the Hive Mind, Global Mind, or Brain Internet. The potential benefits of this concept are significant. It could help large groups work together with unparalleled unison and cooperation, enabling them to achieve time-sensitive objectives more efficiently. Companies, nonprofits, and political organizations are exploring leveraging this concept to facilitate more organized work. In addition to accessing the thoughts of others, it's even possible to access their memories and emotions stored in the cloud. This could provide a novel way for people to experience the lives of others and gain new perspectives. However, there are also potential downsides to this concept. If overused, people could become overly reliant on the hive mind, potentially losing a sense of independence and free will. Furthermore, the ability to access others' thoughts and emotions could lead to privacy concerns or even theft. One particularly intriguing aspect of this concept is the ability to communicate with others telepathically. This could allow for more personal and honest conversations with loved ones and friends, as thoughts and emotions can be shared instantly. However, there is a risk of sharing sensitive or harmful information that could lead to negative consequences. Hyper-personalized virtual realities. Traditionally, metaverse companies have created virtual worlds that cater to specific demographics and then release them to the public. However, this concept has been taken to another level with the ability to create full-dive virtual realities customized to fulfill every individual's desire. Using brain information, users can enter a reality where their every wish and fantasy constantly comes to life, maximizing their happiness, joy, and pleasure. Users are treated like kings and queens in these personalized realities, and their opinions and values are continuously praised and validated. Users can indulge in any fantasy they desire without any limits, and no interest is considered too weird or niche. These virtual realities also offer unlimited content, more than any user could perceive. Other personal information, such as favorite books, movies, and video games, can be inputted into the software to personalize the experience further. Platforms are being developed to allow users to share their personalized experiences with others. These virtual realities are expected to become primary destinations for individuals who upload their consciousness to computers when that technology becomes available. Conversely, virtual realities that offer opposite experiences are also possible, where individuals can experience their greatest fears and other negative emotions. Some countries consider using these realities as long-term punishment for the most heinous criminals. Uploading information to your brain. In the year 2100, significant advancements will have been made in transhumanism, which involves merging human biology with technology. One of the most important developments is the ability to download skills and knowledge directly into a person's brain. 
This process involves integrating the downloaded information with specific brain parts responsible for motor control, memory, and strategic planning. As a result, people can learn new skills and gain knowledge at an unprecedented speed. For example, they can become experts in sports, learn self-defense, or operate any vehicle within seconds. They can also acquire advanced knowledge in computer science, biology, and history without ever reading a textbook. This technology has the potential to revolutionize education as we know it. Instead of spending years studying and practicing, people can download the required information and skills directly into their brains. There are even cloud services available that allow people to stream information in real time. Furthermore, this technology has the potential to improve intelligence vastly. It can instantly grant advanced knowledge and skills related to pattern recognition, logic, critical thinking, problem solving, and increased vocabulary. Floating cars and superconductors. Room temperature superconductors are hypothetical materials that can conduct electricity with zero resistance at room temperature. The discovery and use of this material could revolutionize many industries and transform the world's infrastructure, especially in transportation. By 2100, room temperature superconductors will have become a reality and be used in numerous industries, including transportation. The most noticeable innovation resulting from it is the development of new hovering and flying vehicles that can glide effortlessly above the ground. One of the significant benefits of these hovering vehicles is that they'll float over a cushion of magnetism and are powered by wireless energy transmitted from pads embedded in the ground. This technology eliminates the need for fossil fuels and significantly reduces the carbon footprint of transportation. Moreover, these floating vehicles will make travel safer and more efficient. Also, these vehicles will reduce incidents of roadkill, which account for millions of animal deaths per year. Furthermore, some of the wealthiest and most high-tech districts will look to upgrade entire road networks shortly to cater to levitating vehicles. As more and more routes become available, being able to travel in three dimensions rather than two enables faster travel times, leading to more productivity and fewer transportation-related emissions. Force fields. By the year 2100, several innovative technologies have been stacked together to create a new form of protective shielding that is nearly impenetrable. This invisible shield is activated instantly when needed and can protect against most types of weaponry. The shield consists of four layers. The outer layer is a supercharged plasma window shaped into a dome or sphere using electromagnetic fields. This layer is hot enough to vaporize most incoming metals. The second layer comprises of millions of curved laser beams that produce a high-energy web, which captures projectiles that are fast or powerful enough to bypass the plasma window. The third layer is mesh, made from trillions of carbon nanotubes, which adds a layer of protection against incoming projectiles. While the three layers can protect against most bullets, bombs, and projectiles, they're still vulnerable to laser attacks. The fourth and final layer is designed to address this problem. This layer uses photochromatic particles that change their properties when exposed to laser light. These particles can neutralize most energy blasts, providing an effective shield against laser weaponry. This multi-layered force field is useful not just in war zones, but also in other situations. National borders are using this technology in hotspots to increase security. Corporate and luxury venues owned by the rich also increasingly use force fields as protection. Additionally, several satellites are fitted with this technology to withstand impacts with other objects. This technology could create some of the most effective shields and body armor. However, there is still a risk of injury from shockwaves resulting from large projectiles and explosions. Overall, this technology provides a significant increase in protection and security. In the year 2100, the world will have changed dramatically due to advanced technologies that have transformed the way we live, work, and interact with each other. From room temperature superconductors to brain-computer interfaces, the possibilities are endless. Now, if you enjoyed this video, we recommend you check out the other videos in this series, Exploring the World of the Future. And also, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to Future Tech Enthusiast for more exciting videos in the future. And while you're at it, hit that bell icon to make sure you get notified whenever we release new videos. See you next time.